What it is, why it's your boy Mitchy J to walk the TV and I got my name is CJ. Silent Assassin. How about greatness? Greatness is upon you. I must be we must be great and we will. You know what I mean? Hey man, but for real though, this right here is called Bitter Sweet. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. 2021 coming soon, you feel me? Everybody gotta stay prayed up. Me personally, I'm not getting the corona vaccine. I don't know about how everybody else feel, but I'm not getting it because I really don't trust it. You feel me? But, you know, that'd be different. But yeah, man, we're gonna talk a little bit about life. Just life in general. So, what you wanna talk about today? Or elaborate on, or you know what I mean? All right. Well, consider all things, Lord. People gotta understand. Anything you gotta do in life, you gotta be able to understand first before you go ahead and try to take that journey or just say die ahead first. Right. It's true. So, what you think about uh, falls like uh, the sports world, like falls like. The NBA, how everything going? Like you remember last year, they had the bubble. Right. Now all of a sudden, now it's, it's back to regular season. Now basketball season. Now, how you feel about that? I feel about it. They gonna do anything to get your money. Um. Lakers won the championship, of course. Hello. Um, it's a setup. I mean, yeah. but a lot of people, you know, what I mean, they they love the setup. They love the. What's gonna come next? Basically, they dictate what's gonna happen. Now you go from everybody dying for Corona. Now you don't hear about the Corona. The president had Corona, but he ain't died. Right. You feel me? But we sitting this close, and we stay in two different cities. I'm just saying, check next time. Just tell her, go to sleep, take a temperature. That's Hello. all I'm saying. That's it. But. Well, my take on it, man, it's going to keep going to where it's going until it don't make no sense. All right, you're right about that. I feel like this, man. I feel like, I mean, the whole, everything, everything that happened in 2020, man, just a, a big hoax. You know, the government need the money. You already know we owe China billions and billions and trillions of dollars. You know what I mean? No cap, but, I mean, I feel like everybody should just, Stay prayed up because that's the main thing right there. You know, believing in the man upstairs, that's the most important thing. Go without him, ain't nothing possible, you know what I mean? I'm gonna put y'all, I'm gonna help y'all think about something. Think about this. Yeah, talk to him, you know what I mean? They ain't got no choice. Cause I never listen. They hear me, but they ain't listen. Hello. Um, you've been living the same way. 10 years. Right. All of a sudden, you get into a car accident. And reality hits you. I'm talking about true life. I ain't talking about right. going to work. I ain't talking about going to see your old lady smash and dash. And mm -hmm. I ain't talking about if you hit the scratch off, if you don't. If you lose a finger right now, don't you know you ain't worried about a damn thing but getting that damn finger fixed? Hello. Now, why is it that it takes so much extremities for you? to get the clue or get the hint that you ain't in control of nothing that goes right. on the earth. Yeah. You ain't even controlling yourself because guess what? You smoke weed to do what? To relax your body. Relax and, uh, you know, and to not erase worry about, all your problems the way. But, that be, but in, but as they time, say, I don't know. But you know the crazy thing about a dope club? I can knock on that door real hard. Guess what? You'll snap out your high. Hello. So you just spent a nickel bag or a dime or a quarter to do what? For it to be snatched away from you. Right, just like that. So once you understand how life really works, you'll be more at peace. Right. You know what's coming, because guess what? When you take your hands out the wheel, you wouldn't drive it in the place. Hello. But I'm gonna digress. Y'all go ahead and listen to Don't listen to me, I don't know what I'm talking about. Hello. I'm just- Don't shoot the messenger, but I wanted to talk to her all about uh, 
also about uh, the boxing world, the Deontay Wilders of the world, the uh, Tyson Furies, the Earl Spencers, and the, uh, you know. Uh, Mel Crawford. Yeah. All of them. How you feel about uh, Tyson Fury saying uh, uh, he called uh, AJ a bomb, a bomb dosser, and he's going to, you know, you know whoop him. You know, the thing about Tyson Fury, Tyson Fury is a gimmick. And we everybody understand that. He gonna call. First of all, y'all gotta understand. At the end of the day, he is a cracker. Oh. A cracker gonna always talk down to a nigga. He gonna always say he ain't shit, this, that, and the other. But he wish he was like us. Quote, unquote. Hello. But that's behind closed doors. All right. So, he gonna fight Dante Wilder. Now, remember, contract supposed to be closed. There wasn't gonna be no fighting. Move to AJ. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Now, you see how they get your pocket? They get your money. Yeah. Say build it up. Build it up. And then they tear it back down, and then they build it up again. Right. So imagine you spending everybody. This is imagine everybody on paper you spending all their money. Every time a fight came out, why we can't come together like that? Now we can come together for a fight party, strip club, chip on the liquor. You know that. We can do everything that destroy us but we can't come together and liberate each other's minds yep. and keep each other down it's like it's like almost like this bro I feel like okay say for instance i live in this neighborhood the trenches you in the same neighborhood we all grew together you feel me right but some people or majority of people have more than the others why is it hating i'm not living in the gated community you feel me <laughs> i'm still living in the trenches in the jungle, but they still hold, you know, I think I'm better than this one power. The reason why y'all can be living in the same trenches, but my trench is a little higher Hello. because I made wise decisions. Right. Had the same opportunity. Same opportunity. But guess what? You got people that capitalize on their opportunity and then they make more opportunities, or you can sit around and complain and point at, hey, but it still don't get you nowhere. You still got to deal with yourself. Yeah, it's true. You still got to deal with self to the point where you can sit there and say, you know what? I decide. And it all comes with a decision. Decision, yeah. Life is a choice and death is a decision, man. Okay? Life is a choice. We all was birthed. We all was, you know, all of us came out the our old girl womb. But you feel me? Death is a decision. You want to go ahead and off yourself. That's why. I, that's why I can relate to things in life. I mean, money is not everything, but I feel like, you know, as they say, you know, money to bring you happiness. I don't know. I mean, I'm just a regular, ordinary dude. You feel me? We're just trying to make it. We're trying to come up. You know, business ideas or whatever. We're just trying to make it. Trying to survive. It ain't all about money. I just feel like. Life is what you make of it. Our parents give us life, 18 years of their life. After you 18, you do what you wanna do. I'm tired of hearing people tell me, well, you know, uh, I wasn't, you know, I, I, ain't, I, I ain't wanna be born, you know. Oh, it's my it's, it's, it's my parents' fault for, for this happening or that. Hey, man, grow up, man, life goes on. You old enough, you feel me? I feel like, I mean, why are you still living in the past? It's the future now. You know why people say, uh, what they used to do? I don't care what you did, goddammit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. what, what are you doing now? You well, know, that's it. Well, you, a lot of people, they find themselves living in their past or so reminiscing because of the simple fact. Like I, like I said, we go back to having a plan, executing that plan and moving on to the next. Right, exactly. When you do it easy, Life will be hard. When you do what's hard, be ready for hard life. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that again. Say it again, cause they ain't they ain't, they ain't listening. I know y'all miss me, but I'm here. I made a new turn just to visit you. Oh, yeah. I know it's smooth, right? Hello. <laughs> now, life is hard, but when you choose the easy route every time, life is hard. But when you choose hard. Yourself for hard living, right? So, therefore, if you prepare yourself for hard living, then is it really hard living? If you all 
already got the mindset and everything lined up. So you know it's gonna be behind the corner, so you prepare for it. Guess what? I ain't gonna never get wet because I know it's gonna rain. I look at the weather. And just like everything in life, it's simple, but we make it complicated because of who we interject in our lives and who we choose and who we allow to be in our hearts and be in our thoughts and be in our minds. And that's deep. Now I guarantee you, you see a baby crossing the street. Instinctively. Right. You're gonna try, you you, you automatically gonna be like, what's going on? Why that baby that baby out of place? Right. So why you don't look at your life? Exactly. Why you don't look at things in your life and say, well this is not this is not matter. says that that what the God could do for her or whatever the case may be I feel like you know it's 50 50 like you know I don't I never understood that how why everybody got to find them a winner you find them a winner because you know as they say but God said trust in him not woman or man or not man and woman but us as humans that's a natural uh, thing we do, we just submit to the, you know, our significant other. It's okay, well, damn man, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Man, I'm, man, I'm gonna do this for her. I'm gonna give her the world. But God said, give him the world. God said, trust in him. But then when everything all said and done, like, you know, we don't know. You know, I'm gonna tell you but something. it's human. You know, we all human. You feel me? I'm gonna tell y'all something about that. God's gonna try to listen up. The reason why we be getting back to get out here is because we keep forgetting the most important part that God gave us, which is that spirit man. That's your sixth sense. Yeah. Yep. That's what alleviates you from a lot of trouble, a lot of baggage that this world brings. This world got you licked and cornered every which way. So anywhere you go, you are all right, you may not drink. But you go to school. Hello. You may not go to strip clubs. But you sell your soul for the next dollar. Well, that's it. It's all about it's all about money, man. But it's crazy. It should be like you know, you're supposed, you're supposed to be be happy no matter what. You feel me? How you gonna know? First of all, you can't be happy if you don't even know how to first introduce yourself to happiness. happiness. How you gonna be happy? Right. Matter of fact, we gonna we gonna take happy because happy is too short. That's too short yeah. of a word. How you gonna introduce yourself to anything when you don't go to the Heavenly Father and read His Word, His Law, Statutes, and Commandments, and follow them, and then you can deal with everything else. Right. Because guess what? When you deal with Him, He regulates and puts a balance and a cap on what you should and what you should not do. Think about it. Promise Him. Tell you not to have marital sex before you get married. Why is that? You want to know why? Because your finances, your health, 
and everything that you value, car, this, that, and the other, will go to that significant other because they have attached themselves to your heart and your emotions. Right. But when God is in control of your will and your emotions, guess what? You can see past that person and see exactly what's directing them, what's trying to capture you or captivate your mind. Then you can turn around and determine, I don't need to fool with that person. I'm good. I'm going to stay in solitude with God, with my God, with myself, and keep all my stuff where I can be able to flourish and grow. So that way, when I do want to turn around and have a family, because guess what? Every time you do it wrong, what, what's the, what, what, what is the, the natural balance of chaos? Just because you had a jit. Right. With your baby mama. Now, now she becomes baby mama, right? Yep, that's it. Yep. Now she's your baby mama. Now, guess what? Y'all like this. So now the government say, hey. Mama say, hey. You ain't doing right. You come and doing this. Put them on child support. So now you're in a system that is oh. against the man. That's against God. Number one, because now you the man, you the God. You the best in the representation of God. And the woman is the representation female representation of God moving in the earth. So you populate, or should I say translate yourself into a, her body, then you go deep in her bone marrow. That's the reason why she be busting out your windows and your doors. Raw. Hello. But, so you got to understand when you put yourself in the system, you can't say, you, you can't say God, why? And then he's saying, he's looking at you like a, like a father, he's a father. Right. So now you got to sit down and understand it. Daddy gonna look at you like, I told you not to do that, didn't you? Definitely. Sit back there in line. Yeah. You know what to do because guess what? You put yourself in the situation to do what you do. Now you're mad. Because it didn't work didn't on out. how you can caught it. Yeah. Your mind and say, oh, that I can make it work. No, 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 son, young lady. You're lying to yourself. If you're lying to yourself, then guess what? You'll turn around and lie to me. Lie to me. I said, trust in him, the man and woman. It goes back. It's a circle of life. Now, nah. it is. You get married, same consequences could happen. You right. could be on child support. She could sleep with another nigga. But you put yourself under that covenant under God. So guess what? He protects and shut up. But you got to stay close to him. You stay close to him, he'll watch over your stuff. Better than you want to move but when you don't live the word, guess what? You succumb to everything that the yeah. world got to offer. Oh, true. Yeah. And you ain't got no control room. All you can do is just roll with it and, and, and hope. Why hope when you got real search in God? Exactly. Don't put your hope in her. Because the moment you piss out hope, the moment everything. Go down here. You feel me? Yeah. And everything you already know on that one. Him. him. You know, nine times out of ten, if he put that goddamn stick on you, and I ain't talking about that gun, he put that stupid stick on you, guess what? Feel like, feel like she died. Hello? Felt a little like he's dying. So now, Hello. you got all that going on. You got a process of thinking about this person. Now, meanwhile, God ain't nowhere in the picture. You ain't thinking about him. Only time you think about him is when he get up and leave. Yep, that's it. But when she get up and leave, now you crying to God. God, like, I've been here. Yeah, you right, bro. So how you leave your first estate when you don't even know how you got made? Why not go to creating and see how you made it? And that way you can know how to deal with everything else. So you know what to project. Spit out eat the meat. Spit out the bones. It's a nice steak, don't it? Don't eat it raw. Oh! Make sure you're well done. Like a pressure cooker. That's how life is. Oh! But, you turn it over to cuz. Y'all make me stop. I shut up. Nah, you good. So I'm saying, like, how you feel about, uh, alright, how you feel about this life in general? Like, what's going on now? Like, falls like, uh, like things happen in the NFL. How you, how you feel about that? Jimmy, how, how you feel about that? <laughs> He's looking. You know, come by the PK. How I feel about the NFL. Um, it's just another Ponzi scheme to get people money. Yeah. 
and that's all and that's all we is you gotta think about it people killing each other for trees yeah, bro. I ain't talking about weed the money that we sit there and it ain't even real, it's not even real money they made it out of thing yeah. that's it it ain't real money how man. they make a trillion dollars to stimulate the economy and give you a stimulus check but they won't pay off China yeah. you wanna they, know they why still, they still owe them because you the debt. Sure. It ain't the money. You and me the debt. Right. So that's the reason why this economy is still flowing. Because guess what? They right. making. Hey. They making money off us. Male lady. Yeah. You right, Will? So now they making money off us. They ain't finna stop. That's modern day slavery. Sure. We know that, but guess what? You turn the blind eye to us because guess what? You say you can do what you want to do. Yeah. You can do what you want to do in this small circle. Yeah. Are you too? Yeah, you're right. Stay, stay, stay in the sandbox now. I ain't telling you to be out in the sandbox. Rock the sandbox. Michael Bax, Bar Luther King, Marcus Garvey. You know what? I'm going to be cool. But, yeah, you're right, bro. Muhammad Ali. We, we ain't going to talk about that. Who's yeah. standing up like that? that? That's on another whole nother, you know what I mean? That's a whole another conversation. Hello? Whole another video. Yeah, man, I, I want to talk about like uh, I want to elaborate on Kell Brook. He talking about uh, he spun like um, wine, and you know he feel the best ever. You know he's in tip top shape. And when he fought Terrence Crawford, he wasn't no uh, damn Kell Brook. I seen uh, them. You know who he was to me. The shit Brook. Well, you know, man, it it it, it pains, it saddens me dearly. See the young man go out like that. He look like something like they robbed him. I yeah. Think they, I think they picked him too. Oh! You know what I mean? That boy, that boy look like he was slurred in him. Yeah, man. I don't know what Kel Brook was doing. He, he said he, he said he's the he's in the, the best shape he ever been. You know, he's going to put on a great performance. Yeah, he did. Everybody want to get their money's worth. They did. The thing about it, I couldn't watch it. I ordered it and everything. It's, it ain't even, it was playing everything up. As soon as, as soon as the main event came on, I'm talking about, oh, you got to order. I said, I ordered this shit already. I called, I called them people and, uh, hey, man, cancel this shit, man. I don't read it for them. I, I watched the damn uh, YouTube highlights. I said, oh, I'm glad I didn't order. I'm glad I did stop because she didn't last. What, four rounds? Now, think about this. This is how they out to get your money, right? Everybody get ready, order food, pizza, whatever the case may be, right? Yep. Nate Robinson got knocked down. Come on, man. He did. He did. He did it. He did it for us, man. He did it for the family. I don't know that nigga. Oh. But see, that's the problem, folks. I don't know him. But guess what? He'll feel the same way for me. Yep. I don't know that nigga. That's wrong talking. Wrong talking. You're right. Cause now, why you paid all that money for that fight, right? And you could turn around and see the highlights. Less than two to yeah. three hours later on YouTube. Yeah, you definitely free. can. So why are people spending their money instead of everybody just coming with your phone and say we gonna wait? We so All right, Bam o'clock. It's gonna be on, but guess what? We don't think. Yeah. We hey, we impatient. We can watch the fight. Mike Tyson. I'm pretty sure if y'all know who Tyson and Roy Jones are gonna do that there, y'all wouldn't order that fight. But guess right. what? Based on you psychologically, you say it's Tyson. Roy Jones, you know he gonna get knocked down. He get hit by Tyson, so you ordered the fight. I don't blame you. I forgive you. They should. They built it up. Show the highlights. Built it up, right. I'm it's glad going. I ain't go. I mean, I'm glad I ain't watch it. I mean, I was at the improv, but I mean, I seen the highlights. And, you know, it ain't look like nothing. You could tell they weren't going hard. Remember that was this exhibition. Hello. So you already know how it is, man. Like it just uh like you said, entertainment. Entertain us. It's like for right now, like football now. Every time you score or something, they got the little camera where you can go, you can go ahead and celebrate and all that. Back then, Chad was doing the Chad Cinco. Finally, yeah. Oh, they found him. For what? So I feel like Chad was a, a trendsetter. Cause, you know, he started it. And then TO, you know what I mean? When he took the pen out of his and went and he signed the ball and when uh Chad uh I think he got on one knee I he was, he was from the proposal to the cheerleader 
he put the, uh, the, the Hall of Fame jacket on. I mean, I wish it was like that back then. Now all of a sudden, now they doing enough. You feel me? Like, come on, man. Y'all find this man every every Sunday. <laughs> For what? Because it's about entertainment. Entertain us. Now, here's the thing, now, people. Family. Because I'm, I'm feeling the door close to y'all like that. I can call y'all that. Think about it. The reason why I say it's rigged, I'm going to tell you why it's rigged. I ain't supposed to text on that phone, but anyway. Boy, <laughs> you already know, man. People do what they want to do yeah. when they get ready. You know that. I do it, they throw with a key on me. You know what I mean? They never had it. Get you, get you so and so on me. Oh! They never had a key. But! You're right. Now, check this out, people. If you're in the entertainment industry, why is it that if Mayweather made all those millions, right, never lost a fight, why is he coming back to fight again? I'm gonna let y'all pun on that. Right. So if it ain't rigged, you can do what you want to do, Mayweather. All right. Enjoy. Why can't you go off into something else and not box ever? Exactly. Cause think about it, every boxer always came back. Layla Ali, Carissa Shield. They suck the soul out you. They suck you. you and all your gift and your talents and they throw you away. So guess what? You got to go back and basically beg them to give me, give me a dollar, give me a check. Right. Then whether you spend too much money. Right. They say you're a great businessman. No, they allow you to be that because you're spending money on what they consider basically bull. You're giving their money right back to them. Yeah. So of course, quite frankly, when people throw money up like this here, what do they own? They own one house, a couple of houses, never own no property, no land, never doing nothing big to the point where it's going to be a problem. So, of course, they're going to give a token, token niggas, LeBron, all the NBA players, oh. all the NFL players. You can't, you can't liberate your people. Once you get money and you and you in the masses back pocket. Right. So guess what? No president is not gonna do shit for us. I wanna go on record and saying it. They ain't gonna do nothing. Oh, for us. Oh, 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 oh. They gonna do exactly what the man upstairs told him to do for right. real property. Yep. Everybody got a hand in fulfilling prophecy and, and bringing our Lord back to come back. It's a judge's word. All right, it's so true, bro. So, I know a lot of people don't want to come to grips with that because if you come to grips with that, then you got to understand that. Wait a minute. It's an end to this book. Oh, oh, oh. It's, you a ruined it's, it's a dot to this sentence. Yep. This ain't no run on sentence. True. But guess what? Go ahead and be in La La Land. I'm sorry. Never, never land. Michael Jackson gone and dead, y'all. Go on, man. But get what? The rule. He sold more records when he dead than when he was alive. Okay. And why is that? It's like, it's like Fly said. They show the, they show you the much, much they show you the, the, the much love when you dead, when you alive. You know what I mean? When you go to the funeral, they show you all the love. But when you were living, actually, you that's a lie. That ain't no love. What it is, well, that's just I want to be seen. Cause think about it, funeral just like church. Everybody come out. Yep. See who dressed up, who got the flies coat on, who <laughs> who, come, who coming out with the jewelry. Oh Fresh. yeah, that's my dog. This Cuban guy, link, whatever. everything. But at the same time, it ain't about you. It's about the deceased, and it's actually a celebration. Cause he ain't got to deal with no more pain no more. Right. But people look at it totally different. I see it. Yeah. Different perspective, right? That's all. Give me perspective. Yeah, that's all, bro. They ain't doing nothing. That's what my little brother said, bro. That's what who said, Wolf? Well, they ain't here. My little brother said that. He said, ain't doing nothing. I think he's wrong. You know what I mean? I walked away, you know? But I'm saying, okay, how you feel about. You rule, man. <laughs> yeah, that that right there, what he just said, that's for another episode, man. But 
uh, how you feel about like these athletes uh, like finding like love, you know, like as far as like marriage. How you gonna find love in a month? Right. But like, do you feel like they should? I'm talking about. I ain't talking about the ones that had their high school girls when they was. Of course. Nothing. But I'm talking about the ones that make it made it, but they ain't, they ain't never had no the one that's held them down then they get married how you feel about that elaborate well, talk to them a little bit about it's all, it's all, it's all, it go back to what i was saying it's all a setup because guess what when you get in the league right you make it now if i was in the league better sweet hello amen amen now get in the league they want you to fit a certain demographic or to appeal to a certain demographic of people now they put you with uh, exotic woman, I'm gonna say. That. Yeah, I ain't yeah. Gonna, yeah. I ain't keep gonna it, go into color, man. Yeah, keep it like that. But y'all understand where I'm coming from. Right. Instead of a black woman, black ain't really black. It ain't even really a skin. Matter of fact, I'm sorry. Everybody, black is not a nationality. Right? Okay, everybody. You're not even black people. Right. You're a different shade of brown. Right. So when they say black, they lying already. African American. I never been in Africa. I'm not an African American. 